Welcome to that video where I will show you how I clean and do the maintenance of my airbrush. It will be divided in cleaning between colors, cleaning during or after a long airbrushing session and a big cleanup when the airbrush is really dirty. Here is a list of what we will need to clean the airbrush. Some airbrush cleaner, any brand can do. You can also use lacquer thinner if you don't have any airbrush cleaner. You will also need some needle juice for the needle and trigger. Some Q-tips. A pipette or a syringe. Some dental swabs, they can be paper swabs, you can find these on, on Amazon for really cheap. You will also need a nozzle cleaning tool, like this one. And obviously you will need an airbrush and some random waste pots. I do not use these cleaning tools as they can scrape the inside of the airbrush and will make the cleaning harder later. This is it for the material that we will need for cleaning the airbrush. My airbrush is not that much dirty, but it is not clean neither. I will start by showing how I do a basic cleanup between the colors. So let's begin. First of all, the enemy of the airbrush is thick paint. When I airbrush most airbrush ready paints, I thin them 50-50 with airbrush thinner or water. So if I put 4 drops of thinner, I will add 4 drop of airbrush ready paint and mix it into the cup. Once it's done, we are ready to airbrush. Please use an old brush. Do not take your good brush for doing this. You can now airbrush your model. Once you're done, there is one thing that you should never ever do. It is spraying all the excess paint through the airbrush. This way, you will clog your airbrush way faster. To avoid this, just drop water in your cup, clean it with the old brush you used earlier and take out the water with pipettes and put it in the waste pot. Repeat this operation two or three times. And then you can clean the rest through the airbrush. So you can see the inside of the airbrush is clean and we can change for a new color. This way you will never get a very dirty airbrush. And it takes only a few seconds to save you a lot of time for the final cleanup. Once you have airbrushed the old day or multiple hours but you are not done yet and you feel that the airbrush is a bit dirty. It's time for a bigger cleanup. This is where uh, we will use the airbrush cleaner. So 
I take a Q-tip and I dip it into the airbrush cleaner. I clean the inside of the airbrush. Now I put a good amount of airbrush cleaner on the Q-tip so uh, there's some cleaner that goes inside the airbrush and clean the needle also. Normally, by doing this, it's enough to store your airbrush for the next session. You will never get problems. Once again, it takes only a few seconds to save you multiple minutes of EV airbrush cleaning. Now let's see what to do if the airbrush is really dirty, when nothing is working well or you are getting clogs and hair bubble in the cup. So it's time to take your airbrush apart. So the first thing to do is to take the needle out. As you can see, there is uh, some paint on the needle. To clean this, we take a small amount of airbrush cleaner on a towel and we gently clean it. This piece is the most fragile one on the airbrush, so be careful. Once the needle is clean, you can use some needle juice on it. That will help you in your next painting session. Now it's time to clean the nozzle. This is the part that needs to be cleaned perfectly. Normally we don't have to take the airbrush fully apart as nothing is supposed to get dirty at the back of the airbrush if you do all the steps that I am showing you. Once again I use a Q-tip and airbrush cleaner to make a big cleanup of the inside. Once it's done, check with some good lighting if there is no residue uh, left in the airbrush. If you see that anything uh, is still in the airbrush, you can use some dental swabs to clean those hard to clean areas. Those dental swabs are also available in paper for extra safety. You don't need to do this kind of cleaning every time you use your airbrush, but it's pretty good to do it every few sessions. I will now clean the inside of the nozzle. Be careful with that piece as it is a very fragile piece. As you can see I have airbrushed some chrome paint and it is really really hard to remove. 
even if I keep cleaning, the swabs are just getting dirty every time. So when this happens, you will have to soak the pieces into airbrush cleaner. To do so, you just take a small container, you had a small amount of airbrush cleaner, and you let the pieces so soak for a few minutes. When doing the full airbrush cleanup, you have to take it apart a little bit more and you do a cleaning with Q-tips and dental swabs of all the areas where you can see paint. Once again, refer to your airbrush booklet to see how to take it apart correctly. The dental swabs are really useful for this part as they allow you to reach some areas that would be you would not be able to reach otherwise. For cleaning the cup, use a towel with a little bit of airbrush thinner and just rub the cup with it. Should bring it back really clean. If this is not enough, you will have to soak the front of your airbrush completely in airbrush thinner or lacquer thinner for a few hours. Be sure when you are doing so that a rubber seals are not soaking in the thinner for a long time because it will slowly destroy them. If you have an airbrush that is having rubber uh, seals, you can try to get them off your airbrush before soaking the pieces. Well, let's clean, let's finish the cleanup of the nozzle as it has been soaking in the airbrush cleaner for a while. I will now use the nozzle cleaner to show you how we use it. So we gently put the nozzle on top of the nozzle cleaner and we twist it slowly on the scraper. Do not apply any pressure because this will break and damage your nozzle. You gently push it and twist. That's it.
keep cleaning all the pieces until they are like new so you will be sure that your airbrush will be working correctly next time. Repeat the process until everything is clean. Sometimes you have to uh, wash a piece two and three times to get it correctly. Once everything is clean, you can reassemble your airbrush and store it. You are ready for your next airbrushing session. I hope this video will help you with your airbrush. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content.